Hello my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be all on my empties. These are products that I've used up and I'm gonna talk about if I like them and if I would repurchase them. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. So we'll just go ahead and address the elephant in the room. I am currently in my bathroom filming and as you can see, I'm not all glammed up. I just didn't feel like doing the mostest. So as you can see, I'm doing the the least is. <laughs> so I do want to tell you that there is like a skylight right there above my tub. So if the light, well, not if, you will see that the light is going in and out and in and out. I'm hoping that that doesn't bother you all too much. I'm probably going to film a little bit more in my bathroom only because I feel as though this is probably a really quick way that I can get in and, you know, record some content and get it out without all of the fluff and glam. And don't get me wrong, I'm still going to do some videos where I have full on makeup and eyelashes and in front of my bed and the other the other area but just know that it will be some future videos that are like this so I'm hoping that that kind of goes over well with you all all right so I want to start off with this micellar water by Olay and this is their luminous water and this water has let me put on my readers it's made with rice bran extract and it's the advanced tone perfecting cleanse and this is it right here I found it to be a really good cleanser. If you have sensitive skin, this would really be a good product. I don't necessarily know if I would repurchase it again, only because it is very mild. So the next thing that I have is the Neutrogena Rain Bath Replenishing Shower Gel. I bought this baby for my kids and they really enjoyed it. I did use some of it. I mainly bought it for them because they grew up with eczema, but this is really good, very gentle on the skin. The only thing that I didn't like about this was the price. It was on the pricier side and it was $25. I will repurchase this, but only if I can find it on sale. This next one is a hair product by Avita, and this is the Cherry Almond Softening Conditioner with Sweet Floral Aroma. And I loved this conditioner. I thought that it worked very well for my hair. Um, it's on the thick side. So if you like thick conditioners and they just work better for you, I would say to check this out. I will repurchase it. Uh, but most importantly, I really do like, well, not most importantly, but I really do like the smell of this conditioner. It's just really good. All right. So this next one took me forever to use up. And when I say forever, I do mean forever. This is the Too Faced Injection in Extreme, what is this, Instant and Long Term Lip Plumper. I know you all are familiar with that and you're probably like, why were you buying a lip plumper in the beginning? But during this time, I was going through my makeup phase, you know, just buying a lot of products and I saw this and had to have it. I don't necessarily know if, I, if it made my lips any plumper. It does sting like I don't know what. Um, I think that it is severely overpriced and no, I would not repurchase this. So this next one is by Wet n Wild and this is the makeup remover and, and this is it right here. And the way that I like to use this makeup remover, if you see right here, there's a little pump and I'll press a little bit of the product and it comes up and I use it to clean my eyeliner brushes because I always use a separate brush. I'll use a, typically I'll use a gel eyeliner and it's just easier to get the gunk out. So this is like probably my third or fourth bottle and that's the way I use this. I'll re I will repurchase this forever because it works really good. It's inexpensive and I just like the packaging. The packaging works well with the way I use it. And next I have a fragrance by Dulce Gabbana and this is Light Blue. It's one of my favorite fragrances. And I would definitely repurchase it over and over again. Um, I also have another fragrance by Cabaret. And this is a very old fragrance and I, each time I run out, I always get my husband to repurchase this, this for me and he hates it. Well, okay, it's like this. Do you all have any fragrances where you first put it on and it smells suspect, but then once it settles into your body, it gets to smelling right. And so that's how this one is. He hates it when I initially put it on. He hates the smell, but once it settles in, it 
never fails. If when he gives me a hug or something, he'll say, oh, what do you what do you have on? This smells good. And when I tell him, he's like, Ugh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, well. So anyway, I'm out of this. We'll repurchase this forever and ever. Uh, it's so old. Um, I don't even know. Um, they better not stop selling this because this is the bomb. And I'm going to put the notes on the screen. I don't have my uh, phone or my tablet in front of me. But anytime that I wear this one, uh, when I used to, I used to wear it a lot to work. And when I would walk past, Ask people they'd be like oh what is that you have on or like if I'm in the store or the mall or something I'll pass by they're like what do you have on and I know I'm going all off on uh, fragrances I love it when I go into a store or I tend to well I'll say I love it when I go into a store and I pass by someone that smells really good I can appreciate that because it's better than passing uh, by someone who smells bad but um, and I always can guess the fragrance you know I was like are you wearing such and such such and such are you wearing and I'm I knew it I knew it but anyway I am the connoisseur of scents even though I don't all of even though I don't own all of them I'm a connoisseur of scents old and new all right so the next fragrance that I have is by Ellen Tracy and this is Tracy and this is an older scent as well I really enjoy using this scent but this perfume is really good for layering I will typically put this one on probably on my body under my clothes and then the softer scents I will put them on top and it's just that because this scent is so strong it will come in and it just mixes well with other perfumes that I wear and if you don't layer perfumes I would really suggest that you try it out but always try to put the overpower overpowering or the stronger scent underneath your clothes or maybe on your uh, under your body and then put the softer scents on top and then just see how they kind of mix together just see how the stronger scent comes through at least that's what I do and this one really played well with a lot of really all of the scents that I've worn historically so yeah I would definitely repurchase this one all right so this next one is a deodorant for men and this is something that I bought my son it works for him. It works. <laughs> yes, I would repurchase this one. This is the Dove Men Care Dry Spray. This is the Active Fresh. And if any of you all have a teenage son, I always get them the fresh scents. Get them the fresh ones. <laughs> So yeah, I would definitely repurchase that and I have another one. This is the clean and comfort Yeah, so I typically either when I'm buying for my son I go for either a fresh scent or a clean scent fresh clean fresh clean So yeah, these two work really good definitely re repurchase. All right So these are just some random cleansing wipes by Hill Country You know how they make the uh, off-brand to mimic a name brand and I would definitely repurchase these over and over I think they're like a dollar or two. This next one is by belief and this is the true cream nourishing balm by belief and I didn't purchase this but I, I think that I'm going to buy a bigger bottle in the future but that's once I use up all of my current skincare items this one is different from the aqua balm in that it's uh, a cream like it says it's not a gel formula it's a bit heavier I did enjoy it so once I do finish up all of my other skincare products I probably will buy this one all right so this next one is another sample that I've used up by Perlice, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, and this is the coconut oil and coffee sugar body scrub. I really enjoyed using this. The coffee scent was a little bit over powering just a little bit but not enough to, enough to make me dislike the product you actually still do continue to or at least I did continue to smell like coffee after you've used it <laughs> but again you know my I have a nose like a wolf I can just smell anything I, I smell it but anyway that's a, that's another story if I see it on sale I would definitely uh, try a larger bottle of it but this is it All right, so this next one is a tea tree oil and I will always buy a tea tree oil. It is a natural way to kill bacteria. Whatever or wherever the bacteria is that you want to clean or get rid of, use this. Um, you know, you can use it to clean uh, to clean your countertops. You know, of course, you have to add water and uh, put a little tea tree oil in it. But, you know, as you know, they have tea tree oil in skincare products, hair products, uh, body products, just all kinds of things. And tea tree oil 
oil is just a good natural way of killing bacteria. So you're always going to have some tea tree. I'm always going to have some tea tree oil somewhere in my house. And it's so funny because <laughs> the other day I was using this tea tree oil for something. And my husband came in the room. He was like, you got this whole room smelling like tea tree oil. And I'm like, oh yes, what a good scent. All right, so this next one is the, the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. And this is super gross, so I'm not going to zoom in on it. I might put a little picture up of it because I have glue on it. And I like this one. However, I don't think I'm going to repurchase it because, uh, don't cringe, but I'm now, I've kind of been hip to uh, using hair bonding glue to put on my lashes. I know, I know. But the reason that I like the hair glue, and I wouldn't recommend it. I'm not even going to recommend it for anybody. Okay, because I don't want something bad happening to someone and then you all coming back for me. But this one I would repurchase if I was not using the bonding glue. And I was in the beauty supply store and a lady talked about that and she was saying that's how she puts on her lashes and her eyes didn't fall out. So I thought I would try it. But I like the hair bonding glue because it dries just like that. You know, it's lickety split and it actually comes off quicker than this stuff. I mean, you, this adhesive to me, it just, it's a little bit harder to get off. So anyway, I probably won't uh, repurchase this. Plus the hair bonding glue is way cheaper. And the next one that I have is a concentrated room spray. And this is burger. This is by bath and body works. And this is the bergamot waters. Uh, scent and I'll put the the notes somewhere on the screen. This smells really good and it lasts a long time Even though the bottle is so tiny um, You only need a spray or two and it's gonna do the job. It's gonna you know it, It's going to really have your home or wherever you spray it smelling really good would repurchase these in a heartbeat And I love catching them on sale. All right, this next one is a vegetable glycerin glycerin and this is an oil and it softens and moisturizes. And I use this oil to pretty much make concoctions for my hair. I'm always trying to find some products that are either going to help detangle or soften or help provide a lot of slip or some kind of action going on because uh, my hair, it, it just requires a lot. And I have 4C type hair. It is super tightly, tightly coiled. And I will sometimes drown my hair in this and there's no shame in my game. I will mix certain products. I'll add, delete, subtract. I'm always adding and deleting and subtract. But if you haven't tried this glycerin oil, I would say definitely try it, especially if you have thick hair. So I think that's pretty much it. Short and sweet. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know, are you diligently trying to use up your products? Um, have you used up a lot? Have you used up a little? Are you in the buying mood? Are you in the not buying mood? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches